All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Bob from Lone Duck, and this is Old Memphis. And we're going to talk a little bit about shooting around our dogs and preventing gun shinings. They don't come out of a mama dog afraid of gunfire, loud noises, and all that stuff. We, as trainers and handlers and hunters, create gun shyness. So, a couple things to avoid. One, seeing if your dog is gun shy. So you would put a bowl of food down or have the dog hanging out right here and have your buddy right there. Grab a little box of Kent. Whammy! Kapow! Let it rip. Guess what? They're either gonna be gun shy or they're not. You just created it. So we've got a video on YouTube. You can click to subscribe um, to follow along on more stuff, but we've got a video on how we introduce gunfire. Um, you start far away work your way closer with the gunfire and you're using retrieve drive to develop that fearlessness and in the distance a little pop goes off and they're doing their retrieve so with that being said before i introduce gunfire i want to have that puppy already excited about retrieving already bringing the bumper back already fully fired up understanding their job go and get it bring it back and their excitement level for that retrieve is super super high um, and again, guys, maybe 120 yards out, start with a 22, you know, uh, primer starter pistol or, and, and then work your way up to the old 12 gauge, uh, to make sure that there's, there's nothing wrong there. But so many people, so many people send messages about, I've got a gun shy dog or my dog sees a gun and runs. How, how do we... How do they even learn that that's a negative? I 100% never take a dog duck hunting until they're fully, fully ready. So you'll see the guy who takes it or Gail who takes their dog out at five, six months old and they might've been shot over. They might've done gunfire introduction and then they go to a pit blind or a goose field or a duck blind and have three of their buddies. Here you go. Come here. Three of their buddies. Boom, 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 boom. Civil War with a puppy who has no idea what their job is yet. Unacceptable. On their first hunt where they're still learning what's going on, one or two shots, knock that bird down and let them go and get the bird. Uh, when they don't know, like even if you've trained them a ton and they understand their job and they're not afraid of guns, you've done your job right, that first hunt with a, a plethora, dictionary, means a bunch of gunshots going off and the dog sitting there like, what the heck is going on? It could spook the heck out of them. Even though they're not afraid of it in training, even though they've been around it enough, you go to where they have never been before and you start lighting it off in the, you know, dark, you know, pre-shooting or like at shooting light, still dark. They aren't seeing the ducks working yet. Man, you could really create a gunshy dog. So things to remember, properly introduce, start far away, build retrieve drive before you do it. Don't see if your dog is gun shy because you're going to create gun shyness. Make sure that they're not gun shy by doing introducing it properly. On your first few duck hunts where the dog is putting all those pieces of the puzzle together that you've built during training, make sure that you got a couple shooters shoot and have them be like one or two shots, maybe three shots, but it's not civil war. Boom, 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 hit him again, boom. And that dog's looking around like, what? Get me out of here, I don't know where it is. So be sure you're setting your dog up for success and you're not creating gun shyness. Thank you for tuning in. Until the next video, we'll catch you on the flip side. Uh -huh.